Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A, and I love math. And today we're doing Lesson 66 in our Blue Books, and it's all about changing rates. Now, let's review rate for a little bit. Rate is a ratio. And we've seen rates before. Um, if we were talking about filling 30 jars in one minute, that would be a fast machine, wouldn't it? Filling 30 jars in one minute. Then it would be 30 jars per one minute, 30 jars over one minute, or one minute over 30 jars. Now we can use the rate in either orientation when we're solving a problem, but speed is generally the thing we think about when we think about rate. So if we said the rate was doubled, or the rate was tripled, we really mean the speed. And speed is the number per unit time. So when we're about to double or somehow change a rate, we should have it in its um, speed uh, orientation, where the number's on the top and the unit of time is on the bottom. After we have doubled it or tripled it or whatever way we're changing it, then we can feel free to switch it up or down when we are solving a problem. So let's do some examples. Here's our first um, example. It says, Prince Charming traveled 60 leagues in two days. Then he doubled his rate. How long would it take him to go 300 leagues at this new speed? Okay, so... Um, when they're talking about rate here, they're talking about speed. And when we double it, we definitely want it in the speed mode where the time is on the bottom. Okay, so at first he was going 60 leagues in two days. Okay, now we can simplify it here. Or we can simplify it after we double it. But let's just go ahead and simplify it. If he's going 60 leagues in two days, then wouldn't he be going 30 leagues every day? Okay, so L-E-G. Oops, I misspelled leagues. Let's don't do that. Leagues in one day. Okay, so he's clipping along at a rate of 30 leagues per day. And then he's going to double his rate. So in this case, rate is meaning speed, which is the normal way we use rate. And so he's going to double his rate. So instead of going 30 leagues in a day, isn't he now going to go 60 leagues in a day? So his new rate is going to be 60 leagues because we take the 30 and we multiply it by 2 and we'll have 60 leagues is his new rate okay so then it says how long would it take him to go 300 leagues at this new speed so let's get a new board i already did it i got a new board all right so now let's just review we had 30 leagues per day and then we doubled it which means we're going to multiply it by two so 30 leagues per day times two, remember the two is just two over one. It doesn't change the denominator, it only changes the numerator. So now he's clipping along at 60 leagues per day. And the question is, how long will it take him to go 300 leagues? So how long don't we want time out? So we want whatever we want coming out of the equation, we want it on top. So we have this nice rate, but we need now to have time on top. So we're going to put, instead of 60 leagues per one day, we're going to take, it takes him one day to go 60 leagues. So we can manipulate this rate However, we want it to be, it is true, whether it is right side up or upside down, and then we're going to multiply it by the distance he wants to go, which according to the problem was 300 leagues, 300. 
hundred leaks. Okay, and we're looking for how long, and that's why we put time on the top. So the 300 leagues can go over one. And when we cancel, leagues will cancel leagues. Leagues on the top, leagues on the bottom. And then 60, can't I take off a zero off of both of those? And 30 divided by 6 is going to cancel with a 5. And then I have 1 times 5 is 5. But look at what my units are. Everything else canceled except for days. It will take him 5 days to go 300 leagues. And I bet he is one very tired Prince Charming. Okay, let's read example number 2. It says the machine could cap 500 bottles in 2 hours. If the rate of the machine was tripled, how many bottles could be capped in 10 hours at the new rate? Okay, so the problem said that our original rate was 500 bottles ca capped every two hours. It's a lot of bottles. And then it says our rate is going to be tripled, which we know tripled means times three. And then we're going to have our question, how many bottles capped in 10 hours at the new rate? So the first thing we have to do is find out what our new rate is. So couldn't we take our 500 over 2 and cancel by 2? And 500 divided by 2 is 250. And 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So we have 250 bottles every hour. So 250 bottles every hour. So one hour bottles. Okay, so 250 bottles every one hour because we just simply reduced or simplified that rate. So now tripling means that we're going to multiply by 3. So times 3 over 1. Remember when we are multiplying our rate or dividing our rate, we always want it in its speed configuration with the time on the bottom. So now 20, 250 times 3 is 750, okay, because we know that 3 quarters is 75 cents. And so we end up with 750 bottles per one hour. So that is our new rate. So now we have how many bottles will be capped in 10 hours at the new rate. So now I'm going to take our problem right up here so we can keep it all on one page. We're kind of done with all of this right here. We've already used that, so let's go ahead and put our 750 bottles per one hour. And let's answer our question. How many bottles capped? So since we want to know how many bottles, don't we want to use it with the bottles on the top? Whatever's going to answer our question, we do want it to be on the top, don't we? In 10 hours. So now we're going to multiply by 10 hours. And we can put a 1 just to keep things straight. Now our hours will cancel our hours. And we're left with 10 times 750 bottles is 7500. Zero, zero bottles will be capped in 10 hours and there is your work here is our last example before we start your practice problems vacuous ran six miles in two hours then he ran 20 miles in four hours by how much did his rate increase Okay, so he ran six miles in two hours. So six miles in two hours. 
So we're going to simplify that and say divide by two, divide by two, three miles per hour. And then he ran 20 miles in four hours. So 20 miles in four hours. Wow, I bet you he's tired. And 20 divided by four, when I cancel both by four, I get five miles in one hour. How much did his rate increase? Well, he went from three miles every hour to five miles every hour. Isn't his rate increasing by two miles per hour? So we just subtract five miles minus three miles is two mile per hour rate increase. And Mrs. A is not a very fast runner and I have no longevity in running. So maybe Mrs. A could run half a mile in an hour? I don't think that's really running, is it? Now, earlier today, I did Lesson 65. That was hours ago, and my cat crawled up on this bed, and he's been laying there while I'm making videos, sound asleep. And now the cat is beginning to softly snore. I don't think the cat would run any faster than Mrs. A. Do you? Here's your practice problem. Jim drove the 120 miles to grandmother's house in three hours. He increased his speed by 10 miles per hour on the way home. How long did it take him to drive home? Okay, so I want you to copy your problem and pause your video. Okay, hopefully you did that. So let's start with his first rate. He was going 120 miles in three hours. Okay, so then it says he increased his speed by 10 miles per hour. So first, let's get this down to so many miles per hour. So let's divide by three and divide by three. So he was going 40 miles an hour, right? 40 miles an hour. That was not very fast. So then he is going 40 miles per hour. And then since we have this down to a rate that is every hour, then we're going to increase his speed. Increase means we're going to add to it. So we're going to add 40 plus 10 to increase his speed. And now he is going 50 miles per hour. Okay, so now how far does he have to go home? He has to travel 120 miles. So we'll go up here and grab some board here since we need some board. Okay, and he currently has 50 miles per hour that we have found out is his new rate, but they said how long did it take him? So we want time to come out. So we want time on top. So we're going to flip this one over because we want time to come out. How long? And when we flip this over, it's going to be one hour per 50 minutes. So we're just going to cross that one out, flip it over. That is his rate. And now we're going to multiply by the 120 miles that he has to go home. So we're going to say there's just a 1 on the bottom of that. And now the miles will cancel miles. I'll be left with hours. And hours is a unit of time. 
and then I have to divide 120 by 50, but can I just divide both by 10 to start out with? And then I have 12 fifths, and 12 fifths hours is just hard to talk about, so we would probably put this in mixed numbers, wouldn't we? 12 divided by 5 is going to be 2, and that's going to give me 10, and then 2 fifths left over. So he's going to go 2 and 2 fifths hours. Now, what if I asked you how many hours and minutes? Hmm. So instead of 2 fifths of an hour, we want it in minutes. So what is 2 fifths times 60 minutes in one hour? Won't the 5 cancel the 60? And I'll be left with 12 times 2, or 24 minutes. So 2 hours and 24 minutes would be more like you would have somebody talking to you, right? If you said 2 and 2 fifths hours, you'd go, huh, how long is that, right? You'd say 2 hours and 24 minutes. you go, oh, okay, thank you. I know just how long it's going to take. So sometimes putting it in hours and minutes is easier for us to understand than keeping it in 2.2 .2 and 2 fifths hours, which is correct, but just not as easy to use. Okay, here is our last problem of this section, your last practice problem. Margaret could pickle 500 cucumbers in two hours. She got tired and reduced her rate by one half. How long would it take her to pickle 2,000 cucumbers at her new rate? Okay, so what I want you to do is get your problem all set up and pause your video. Okay, so Margaret started at 500 cukes per two hours which if we divide the top and the bottom by one, I mean by two, we get 500 divided by two is 250 cucumbers, and two hours divided by two is one hour. So this is her starting rate simplified. But then it says she got tired and she reduced her rate by one half. Now, in this, it's a little bit weird on the wording but if they meant for you to subtract it, they would have said by one half of an hour. But she, they did not say one half of an hour. So we're going to assume, and it's a reasonable assumption, that we should multiply the rate by a half or cut the rate in half. Okay, so we're going to cut the rate in half. So here was her original rate, and we're going to cut it in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by 1 over 2. Now we've got the 250 and the 2 on the bottom, which we will cancel the 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and 250 divided by 2 is 125. So now, she, her new rate is, new rate is 125 cucumbers in one hour. So 125 cucumbers in one hour. Okay, so now, Remember that the question is, how long would it take her to pickle 2,000 cucumbers? How long means that time should be on top. So our new rate has the time on the bottom. We're going to rewrite the new rate, 125 cucumbers, and then the one hour to do 125 cucumbers. So we're taking the old, the new rate and we're flipping it over. So we're not going to use this one. We're going to use the one that we flipped over. So now we have 2,000 cucumbers. So we're going to multiply 
by 2,000 cucumbers. And you can just put a one down there. So notice that cucumbers will cancel cucumbers down here. And now I'm left with hours, which is what I want. I want hours out. So now over here, I'm gonna have hours. And then what is 2,000 divided by 125? Because 2,000 is on the top. 125 is on the bottom. Those are all of our numbers. So let's do that very quickly. Okay, so with the very last bit, we're going to divide 125 into 2,000. So 125 will go into the 200 one time. 1 times 125. And so we end up having to borrow here. Make that a 1. And then make that a 10. So a 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. That goes out. We bring down the 0. 125 into 750. Let's see. Maybe, maybe 6. Let's see. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Carry your 1. 6 times 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. And it's going to take 16 hours. 16 hours to pickle. So right down here, we had our 1 over 25 times 2,000. We went up there, did the math, and... There is our 16 hours right here. 16 hours is a long time to stand pickling cucumbers. And I'm sure that you're feeling a little pickled right now, too. Sorry that that last problem was a little bit different. I had to leave the house, and I didn't have my board. So we are done with Lesson 66. And this is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.